anemometer, and scientists use this to measure wind speed. And although it looks pretty fancy, wouldn't it be cool if we could build one too? Well, we can, but ours isn't going to look like this, it's going to look a bit simpler, and it's going to use protractor angles to help us understand how fast the wind is blowing in our backyard. So the materials that we will need are a ruler, a protractor, some tape, scissors, some string, and a ping pong ball. Now if you don't have a protractor, I have attached a printout of one, so you can print that out and glue it on cardboard. Also if you don't have a ping pong ball, I will show you a different way to make this without that too. So as we start, we are going to take our thread and we're going to measure 20 centimeters of it. You'll cut that and you'll use a 20 centimeter thread for your anemometer. So you'll take your ping pong ball and some tape and you're going to tape the thread to your ping pong ball. It doesn't really matter where you do it. Next, you're going to take your protractor and at the top, you can see that there is a little tick there that shows your center or your midpoint of your protractor. You're actually going to line up the thread to that line in the middle right there and you will tape the thread to that line. Now when I did this, I folded the tape over and used half of the piece of tape on one side and half the piece of the tape on the other and that's what I would suggest doing too. You want to hang it so that the thread will hang exactly at 90 degrees when it, there's no wind around. Just like that. Perfect. Next, here's how you can do it with a penny or you can do it with a nickel. The penny works better, but I don't know how many people have one of those. So you're going to take that penny and or nickel and tape it to the thread just like the ping pong ball. And there you go. Perfect. Now we're going to bring this outside and um, we're, we can first try it by holding it up as level as possible and seeing where the thread goes and where, where the wind pushes the thread to. Wherever the wind is pushing the thread to, it makes an angle. So we're going to look at the number on the protractor and mine says around 85. It's not that windy. Now remember that when you're looking and measuring for an anemometer, you want to only look at the small angles on your protractor. We're looking for acute angles, which are between 90 degrees and zero. This would be an acute angle, and also this one is an acute angle at 35 degrees. This one also is at 72. So you kind of get the idea. We want to just use acute angles when we're looking at this. Then we'll go to our conversion chart and so if we're using mine, I was at 85 degrees and if I look here, 85 degrees converts to 9.3 9 kilometers per hour. So I was curious to see if any other places, any other locations would change the amount of speed the wind had and so I honestly just used sticky tack and placed it up in different areas and so you can do that as well to kind of experiment a bit. Wow. There we go, we've made an anemometer and we have become weathermen or scientists and that's pretty awesome. <laughs>